Right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a cheat. I'm gonna share with you how to create more snap, more speed at impact by using your hands correctly. So I often talk about the body being the big driving force of the golf swing, and it is, but the hands have got a part to play. What we don't want to see is this really through impact. So that is very unstable and we will struggle to control the club face but we can generate hand speed correctly, and I'm gonna share with you a simple method of how. So the first way we can create hand speed is by creating some wrist cock where we can down cock our wrists at the right time. So cocking up and down is this way, almost like a gun loading up and down. That is wrist cock, this is wrist hinge, okay? So cocking the wrist up and down cocking the wrist at the right point is huge because look at this. If I've got some angle in here where the club head is higher than my hands, and I let that angle go, we can actually generate, without really using my body, actually a lot of speed. So we need in the downswing to make sure that we have some of that wrist cock, okay? We do not want to throw that wrist cock early. Often golfers are doing it when they make this movement. They come over the top of the golf swing and they'll lose that angle in their lead arm too early. Now they've got nothing here at the golf ball. So we want at about halfway down, the club head still to be higher than my hands. We still want some angle in here that we can create and use into impact, okay? So let me demonstrate that quickly first. Still some angle here. And there's tons of speed to be used. I've hit that seven iron, it flew 130 yards, finished nearly 145, nearly 150 yards. So loads of speed from a little half movement here using the wrist. Now, obviously as I'm starting to down cock my wrist, there is some body rotation in there as well. So it wasn't pure hand speed, but there was a lot of that was developed by keeping the angle and letting the angle go at the right point. The second way we're gonna be generating hand speed is making sure that we can create this snap with the wrist. We want it to go from, and this is the technical term, flexion to extension. Okay, so the wrist is moving this way through the golf ball. But if you've lost that angle already in the downswing, again, we, we've got nowhere to go. So we've got to, in the downswing, feel like we keep our fingertips behind our wrist. Now I can create that snap. Whereas if my fingertips have already moved ahead of my wrist in the downswing, I've got no snap. I've got no, nowhere to go with it. So a great way to demonstrate and feel this, and I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises. The first, and I'm obviously using something a bit oversized, it makes it quite easy as a visual, but if you just grab a racket of some kind. Now, I would actually play tennis, all racket sports, right-handed, but I'm gonna hold this in my lead hand, my left hand, because that's where I want to feel it. So first of all, I'm gonna work on holding the angle and letting the angle go here into impacts. That's that down cocking of wrists. And again, huge power source from down cocking wrists, massive power source. But where this really comes in handy is starting to get this movement through impact. Can you see that? Great one for you to stand up and do in the living room, do it with me here. Even if you're just holding a, a spatula, you know, a spoon, something like that to try and get that feeling of the wrist actually moving this way. Like it would do is I was hitting a forehand or a backhand in tennis, generating some snap, some speed. We've got to hold that angle with our fingertips back and let that snap go into impact this way. So that's what we really want to feel. That's a great way of utilizing this racket here. We obviously want to get to a stage at impact where my hands and club are about level. With an iron, we'd like our hands slightly forwards. With the driver, we're gonna get, be getting our hands more level. So as the ball goes more forwards, the club's gonna catch up and actually be more level with the hands at impact. With an iron, with the ball slightly further back, we can have our handle forwards. 
But, and I've talked about this a lot, so I won't go into too much detail. If I push my hands forwards, it does have the effect of opening up the club face, or in this case, the racket face. So we will need to make sure that there is some rotation of our forearm and our wrist this way into impact if we're gonna get our hands more forwards, okay? But just doing some demonstrations, trying to get that racket back to square here. If I come over or throw the angle here where I'm getting my fingertips in front of my wrist, I've got nowhere to go. If I throw that angle, look how much loft I've got on the racket face. Hence why we see golf shots that just go high, weak, right for a right-handed golfer. So they can't throw any more really into that position. So they tend to pull across the golf ball as much as they can. Whereas if I've got my fingertips behind, now I can create snap and actually get that racket face almost straight up rather than lofted. So we're gonna be able to start to compress the golf ball. For a golf drill on the range or at home, I would set up and I'd put an alignment stick on the ground halfway between the golf ball and your toe line. And I've got it at a bit of an angle, so pointing more out to the right of the target. For me as a right-hander, switch it for a left-hander here. So it's something along these lines. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the top of the backswing, and in the downswing, I just want to feel like the club head is higher than my hands by the time I get to around halfway down. Okay, so I'm not letting that club fall this way, throwing that angle too early. We've got some lag, if you like, that angle here in the lead wrist. And the club is almost gonna be following this white alignment stick on the floor, so the club is slightly behind my hands on the downswing, and that will really help me create that snap. So from this way, the club is slightly behind my hands, so my fingertips are behind my wrist. Now I can create that snap into impact. So let's just do that as a drill. Let's get to the top down this way, club heads higher than my hands, club slightly behind my hands, and now, that felt great. Loads of snap, little draw ball flight, again flew sort of 125 odd yards, and it feels effortless, it really does. This is the big thing with this, that's why I said at the start, cheat, it feels like a cheat, because actually there's a ton of speed to be created without a lot of effort. Okay, so we can start to utilize our body correctly. We can generate effortless golf speed. And that's what we're really looking for. A lot of golfers look like they hit it hard, but they don't get a lot out of it. We want that effortless speed, don't we, into impact. So doing a lot of drills that way is, is just great. Downswing is vital. If we can, in the downswing, keep the club head higher than my hands and keep my wrist bent back so my fingertips are behind my wrist here, you can see the club is slightly behind my hands. Now we can generate that ton of speed into impact. There, that real whip. So start with some half swings before putting it. I'm just gonna hit a full one to finish with. That's that feel, bang. I'm gonna generate all that speed into impact. Same distance again, you know, 125 carry, 140 finish from a seven iron from halfway down. So there's a lot to be used there. Falling a little bit behind you, keeping that angle in the wrist until nearer impact. There we go, that felt great. That felt like there's a load of whip here into impact. But what you're not seeing there is my body stopping and my hands take over. So whenever we're talking about generating hand speed, we've got to keep some body rotation. We cannot just stall our body and use our hands because that isn't a powerful movement and doesn't help us control the club face. Whereas this movement, great. Let's unify the hands with the body. That's the correct way of generating some real speed. If that video has helped, smash the like button, put some comments below, let me know how you get on. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this.